All right, I don't know why I'm kidding myself. All right, last time I tried to do this online competition, I realized just how much I hate closed team sheets and why I've had the best season ever with open team sheets. But we're gonna try it again. I Last time I played five games before I said I was done. This time, I'm just gonna upload as I go. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna expect any points out of this. If I'm gonna qualify for Worlds, it's gonna be with points at like Portland and uh, and, and f not Fort Wayne. I, I got points at Fort Wayne, but like uh, upcoming tournaments like Milwaukee and stuff. So I'm just going to accept that. Anyways, we're going to use this team. I'm not going to give details about the team because I do think it's important that even though I'm uploading as I go, I don't tell you guys everything. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this standpoint in time, do me a favor, leave a like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications because I bring you daily competitive Pokemon content. So my comment question of the day, which is, what do you think the best Ruin is? Anyways, it's pretty interesting starting off with... Um, Orthorm right up the bat. And as I said in the last time that I did this, the last time I streamed a Global Challenge or recorded a Global Challenge videos, I'm going to be focusing a lot on the battles, so I won't be as entertaining, but please enjoy yourselves as I struggle. Um, but I think that uh, this lead should be relatively fine. I have to be a little bit careful with things in the back, but uh, I think I'm good. I don't think they want to bring Orthworm into Chi Yu plus Fluttermane. So I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna expect them not to. I just don't see how that does at all well into this matchup. Then again, this person is at 14 something, but they could have also just lost their first match. So I don't, I don't know their skill level. This is like a weird part of the ladder to be on. If you don't know what this is, this is the global challenge. Uh, you can earn points from it, qualify for the world championships. All right. Oh, they let off fourth one Gyarados, no. That's what I wanted them to not do. Okay. So the bad news is I'm probably gonna have to Terra immediately. But I don't want to Terra immediately is the issue. I also can't um, Earth Power that Orthworm. Ooh, this can be an issue. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go for Mortal Spin. And I'm immediately gonna Pollen Puff my Glamora. I really didn't think they'd lead off with that when I had the threat of something so much worse. <laughs> Alright. Mortal Spin. Hopefully it's not... Hopefully it's just like safety goggles and not like Lumberry. Otherwise this turn was a wash. Yay! I healed off nothing. There's the Shed Tail. So the reason I didn't want to Terra there is because um, in the face of a Fluttermane, it's much better for me just to not do that, you know? I get much more value not doing that. Where's the Dragonite? Okay. Um... A little iffy on this situation. I think I am going to have to Terra the, uh, the Glamora. Go ahead and go for the Power Gem. Terra Grass, uh, as well as... I'm assuming Power Gem is going to break sub, so I'm going to go for Leech Seed. Oh, I can't Leech Seed. I'm an idiot. Go for Foul Play. Alright, looks like they're not Terraing that, or they're an extremely slow Dragonite. Dragon Dance up. This foul play is going to hurt so bad if I break the sub, which I'm pretty sure I do. Go for Thunder Wave. Oh, come on. All right. Well, now the foul play is going to go first. Hopefully it breaks the sub. That does so much. They have to be inner focus. There is no chance they're not inner focus, and now they should be way more paranoid about the Glamour on the field. So I'm actually gonna go hard into Dondozo to save the Glamour, and I'm gonna go for uh, for a foul play. They have to be Terra flying to beat this, and with Chen Pao, I think they might be Terra normal. 
which means I eat the hit. Please be Terra Normal, not Terra Flying. And if you are Terra Flying, deal with the Glamora first. Terra Flying. Uh, this is kind of a 50-50 here. I don't know what's going to happen. Terra Blast. It's probably going to be into my Wo Chen, isn't it? Oh, no. Okay, we're good. We're good. As long as I don't get full parried here, we're in a really good spot. Actually, if I get this off, I think I just win. Nice. Okay, that's going to drop. It definitely didn't matter. Let me get all that health back. Wochen shakes off the taunt, too. I'm assuming I'm just going to get taunted again is the issue. There's the Orthworm. So I could prevent another Shed Tail, uh, but I really don't think it's worth it. I'm going to sub up and get in the Tatsu. Assuming they want to go for a T-Wave onto me. And if they taunt me, it's whatever. Go for bulldoze. Interesting. Well, good news is, is that won't lower my defense stat, or that won't lower my speed stat. They go for iron defense. Glad I'm unaware. This is gonna be a really interesting few turns. Also, I think that my HP stat's wrong. That's really annoying. Let me check. I think it's supposed to be not 235. <laughs> Let me check really quick while I have a minute. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and go for Wave Crash into Orthworm. Oh no, it is 235. I'm good. Alright. So Body Press shouldn't break my, my sub. They go for Taunt, so next turn I just go for another Wave Crash. I also probably prevented a, a Shed Tail. Nice. Alright. Cool. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that again. Gyarados is uh, on a pretty good timer here. It's not going to survive too many more turns. I just continue to hit this Orthworm. Pretty sure they usually tear a fire too. Yeah, they just forfeit there. Nice. All right. Good first win. Continue battling. Let's see here. Okay, cool. This is something that this lead can just tear apart. It's this is a really good lead into balance teams. Um, and while do I want to go with the spec splutter? I think I just continue with the Wo Chen. Plus Dondozo core. I think it's fine. I don't need to overthink it too much. Is that pronounced Joshua? Did you just spell Joshua in like the weirdest way possible? Or is that like a or am I pronouncing that wrong and that's like a different name? Anyways, um I'm just hoping for like the the Palafin on lead. That's basically the only lead I care about. 
The worst lead I would say for me here would be the Max Calibron lead because that would mean I have to adjust how I play this entirely and probably burn my Dozo a little bit too early. And I'm not running Terra Blast Terra Grass, I'm just sub Terra Grass, so I actually can't directly beat the, the Palafin. I have to poison that and stall it out with uh, Wo Chan first. Fluttermane. Okay, that's basically the lead I wanted. Because I should always be able to do this. It's pretty unlikely they're going to tear a water immediately in the face of uh, a Wo Chun. So what I'm going to do here is... It's a little risky. They're, they're, they're speed boosting, so I'm a little concerned that they're going to want to go for a sub. But I'm sort of willing to risk this anyways. Because this is a really big reward if I get it. Alright, they're not going to Terra. Fluttermain protects. Are they gonna wave crash me? It shouldn't KO. Flip turn, maybe? Yeah, that's an interesting turn one. I guess it gets me to commit a Terra. Um, it's not that bad. I think I just repeat, to be honest. Actually, if they want to stay in, it actually might be in my best interest just to go for Mortal Spin into Foul Play. On the Palafin. And that's like pretty neutral. And if they want to switch into uh, the Amoongus, it's not going to be too great for them either. They'd also have to burn a Terra here, so I don't think it's worth them trying to KO my Glamora. Because they literally have to Terra to KO it, unless they're Psy Shock. But you typically can't run Psy Shock on, like, um, speed boosting booster sets. Oh, they're gonna burn the Terra. They're gonna go for Gamora. There it is. Alright, hopefully Gamora can live. This wave crash is gonna hurt. Oh, they jet punch? I don't think that's gonna... I don't think that's gonna do it. Alright, I think I live. Even the double up, because I'm AV. Nice. Okay, that's a huge poison. Both of these being on a timer is, like, massive for me. Especially if I get rid of that Palafin early, they don't, they don't really have an answer. Big damage. Okay, I really doubt they haze here. I think they just want to go for the Glamora. So if that's the case, I should be good to do this. I think I just want a Leech Seed, or maybe I... Okay, so hear me out. I can beat this Palafin now, and it's like the only answer they have to a lot of my stuff. If I just do this, I'm going to go for it. This is really risky. But I think that they want to go for the Shadow Ball. I All right. I don't think they Jet Punch. I think they just Shadow Ball the Glamora because they know it's in range. So it's better to get Dondozo in on the left slot. Yeah. Because I have a better shot of dodging the attack there. Okay, huge. That's what I needed. Go for Amoongus. I think I dodge all attacks here. Thank you. 
And I'm really tempted not even to sub up. I think I just want to go for the Earthquake to try to call... Maybe... I don't know if they'll call my sub. I think I do stop the sub. Alright, hopefully they Shadow Balled on that Gamora slot, which they definitely did. Yeah. Alright, uh, I'm gonna sub up. I They're not specs, they're speed boosters, so I should eat the hit very well. And that also guarantees that I take that I sub up second. The only way this goes wrong is if they decide to do, go for the immediate side pollen puff switch in Palafin. That's the only way this goes wrong. And they have to side pollen puff too, which is too risky. Like they'd be throwing if I if I earthquake. All right, get the sub off. Huge. And now I have to start clicking Earthquake. Because if I can get rid of Palafin before it can do anything, like, that's just that's just game. Because that, their way that they beat this Dondozo is sub on the Palafin. Also, Glamora should be... Or not Glamora. Uh, Fluttermane should be in Earthquake range now. I think I just barely eat that with my sub. Oh, they crit me. You're kidding me! All right, that's really big. I was I was fairly certain my sub would get that. All right, well now the Palafin's gonna come in, um, and I my my uh, Wo Chen's no longer Grass type either. Oh, they pollen puffed. Okay, that's a throw. That is a possible throw. But now I have to make a really tough decision. Like, do I do I earthquake or because the Palafin's gonna come in? Do I earthquake or do I sub? Because if I sub, I can lose. But if they sleep me, I can also lose. So I have to, like, make this risk... This is a really risky decision, right? Because they definitely have Haze. Hmm. They did reveal Protect turn one. I'm gonna go for the sub. This is a huge risk. They didn't Protect. Oh my god. All right, well, I should still be able to wave crash them for the KO this turn. Unless they want to go for Pollen Puff on the side, which is really big. Okay, cool, that's fine. Um, actually, maybe I just Earthquake now. No, they're not going to Rage Powder. They don't get anything out of it. I have to, I have to, I have to wave crash to secure the KO. Let me think, wave crash is stronger, right? Because it's 120 times 1.5, that is 180, divided by 290, and it's single target, yeah, it's marginally stronger if I just wave crash. And I doubt they rage powder. I think they just want to side palm buff. Really, if I get rid of this palafin, I'm in a really good spot. Also, they have to wave crash to break the sub. Jet Punch, that shouldn't break my sub. At least I don't think so. I, I might be stupid. Nope. Cool. Please KO. You're kidding me? It's gonna live, isn't it? It's gonna- it's gonna- they're gonna Pollen Puff, and it's gonna live. <sighs> Dang it, man. This is a really frustrating situation. Alright, um, I can't switch out. And not attacking it only makes it worse. So I just have to continue to attack it and hope that, like, Wo Chen can salvage the situation. I'm just gonna repeat that turn. Hopefully, they go for, like, a spore here for some reason. That'd be, like, totally throwing if they spored, but hopefully, they do that. Because then they'll, they'll drop to the poison damage. Oh, maybe not. Maybe they can spore. Alright. This is bad. Yeah, I literally could have just Earthquake. But it was too much of a risk. It was literally a 50-50 call. Alright. 
And now they're just gonna continue to do this until I, like, drop. Let's start clicking Earthquake. They should always Pollen Puff here. And I may need to lock Icy Wind instead of Sleep Talk. Because Icy Wind might allow my Woe Chen to foul play. When the Tatsugiri pops out, that is. Do they not have Wave Crash? Is this just like a Wave Crashless Palafin? What's their last... Are they like Punching Glove? It's a really weird Palafin. Alright, um, if they're Wave Crashless, I feel a lot better about... Um, Wo Chen securing this. I have to get like one earthquake off to send the uh, the Amoongus into hopefully like Draco Meteor range. All right, they switch out the Amoongus. That's fine. Actually, probably better. All right, please wake up. That'd be huge. Nope, still asleep. Are they gonna set up on me or are they gonna try to like Icicle Spear me? I can't protect here because if Amoongus gets in, like I just like lose. And I need like damage. They should be switching in Amoongus. I have to go for Earthquake. They didn't switch in Amoongus, that's so surprising. Um, that's pretty big actually, that's huge that they didn't do that. The Tatsugiri... Oh, they did wave crash. This is such a weird play. Because they're going to take recoil, and yeah, that does a lot, but, like, that's too much recoil. Because now, like, I can just lock Icy Wind. Yeah, yeah, I just get in Wu Chen. And I lock Icy Wind. And, like, foul play. Could also Draco. Draco is like a bigger reward. Maybe I double the Palafin slot. Uh, nah. Ah, I could have. I could have hit it. I was too scared. All right, they do protect. Decent damage on Amoongus. Um, I keep hitting the Baxcalibur slot. They have to Rage Powder away the hit. If they don't, they take too much. I just continue to do this. If I, I have to like not miss any Icy Winds either. I shouldn't drop to an Ice Shard because Wo Chen's in the field now. the Glaive Rush. Do they not have Ice Shard? Or like Ice Cooker? Maybe they're just like playing it safe. Alright. Uh, this isn't too bad. I can now poison both of these. And if he's not the right item... Oh, he is the right item. You know what? I believe in Wo Chen. I think Wo Chen can solo. I'm not even gonna lie. I, I straight up believe Wo Chen can solo this game if I get this Venoshock off. Or not Venoshock. A, a singular... Literally a singular... Um, whatever it's called. I'm gonna foul play here. Actually, no, he's just gonna. Would he rage powder? I don't care. All right, I'm gonna foul play this, but a singular mortal spin could win me this game. Watch him actually have ice shard and he just didn't click it last turn. I guess he didn't need to. Next combo protects. Okay, if I poison this Amoongus, it could be completely over for my opponent. Especially since I foul played it here. They spored the wrong slot. I can win. I can win. I literally just mortal spin here. I literally just mortal spin. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's a chance, there's a very small chance I knock out the Amoongus at this. I have to, like, crit. It doesn't matter what I target here, but I'm, like, overthinking it. All right. If they actually have, like, Ice Shard, I'm really surprised. Because I slowed this back's caliber down with an Icy Wind. Come on, Wochen. You can solo this if Glamora gets this off. They withdraw the Amoongus. They're going to sack. They're going to sack the Palafin. Yeah, Palafin drops this if they don't Ice Shard. They're still faster? How are you still faster? Did I, not, did I miss it? Are they like Clear Amulet and I'm just an idiot? Am I just like actually an idiot? All right. How are they still faster, bro? That's crazy. All right, I have to get the first turn wake like every time. There's a chance that like my citrus berry saves me here and I like just barely come out on top. Um, but I have to like spam foul plays into the backs. I might have just missed a clear amulet. I think that's what happened. Rage powder, that's fine. They don't, they, I don't think they outpace me unless they have sword stance. Okay, yeah, this game's awesome, guys. I love this game. Ah, oh, man. All right, I have to wake up here, literally. Nope, I'm still asleep. That's great. I love this game, bro. I love this game so much. This game is so good. <laughs> This game is so good! Thank you. Alright. Yeah, it sucks. Okay. I, I think if they didn't crit me there, I had a solid chance of winning. Because you saw how much that second went. Like, I would have had, like, at least two more opportunities to foul play. <sighs> okay. That's whatever. I think I just missed the clear amulet. I'm pretty sure I got that icy wind off. I might have. I might have just been, like, completely tripping, though. All right, one win, one loss already. Hopefully we can like not lose the third one. I also just have to like believe in my plays more. Like, like when I said like, oh, I should double the, the Palafin slot on the Amoongus switch in, I didn't even though I like knew that was the right play because I was like, I don't know how good my opponent is. Like, I don't know if, like, that's the right call if I should, like, predict them to do that. So I just kind of had to, like, I don't know. I need I need to, like, trust in my plays more, and I could have won that. Okay, um, we're facing Sun. I do have, like, a Terra Grass and a Safety Goggles Chi Yu. Actually, Safety Goggles Chi Yu absolutely, like, nay nays on this entire thing if I play it right. Let's do this. Let's do this. I'm gonna just go with the guys. I get a lot of value out of you. Um, I do this. It's a rare non Dondozo game. But if they, if they end up leading off with Lily Cole, I should be in a decent spot. I actually probably don't even have to, like, um... I probably don't even have to go for Dark Pulse on the Torkoal. I can just Heat Wave and it'll do about the same in the Sun. Cool, it's the lead I wanted. 
I'm gonna make a bit of a bold prediction. I'm gonna say, hey, my opponent should recognize that the Fluttermane is the scariest thing in the field right now. And either try to sleep it or sleep the uh the fishy, but the fishy is probably fine. Let's go for the heat wave. Get in the Wochan. Hopefully dodge sleep entirely this turn. Barring them going for after you eruption for no conceivable reason, I should be good. Wait, is that- are they actually gonna do it? There's no way they went for that. There's a Chiyu on the field, bro. They really did it, okay. Well, Chiyu should live. Unfortunately, we lost Wo Chen immediately. Can I, like, not miss this turn? It's kind of, like, very important I don't miss. Okay, cool. It's decent damage on Torkoal, and also they're... I'm... Why aren't you, like, sad? Maybe they're Covert Cloak? That'd be, like, the only explanation I could understand. Um, I'm gonna go Fluttermane here. It's, like, the scariest thing for them. They send out their own flutter. So in this situation, um, I'm gonna say, oh, and they're speed boosting flutter. Okay. I have specs and special attack boosting. I don't think this Torkoal eats the hit too well. I'm gonna go ahead and go to my AV Glamora. And I'm gonna Terra and go for this Dazzling Gleam. I can't keep Chiyu on the field because then I'll take unnecessary damage on my Flutter. And I'm assuming the Sash is on the Flutter if it wasn't on that um, Lilligan. Shadow Ball shouldn't do too much. Oh, maybe it does a little more than I thought. It's a Specs with a Life Orb. Torkoal drops. Fluttermane's close. Crit on the Torkoal, I don't know how much that mattered. Um, as long as their last isn't, like, Great Tusk, I should be in a winning position. But let's be real, probably Great Tusk. Gastron? Oh, that's fine. All right. I'm AV on my Glim. I think my play here is literally just Mortal Spin. Get in the Chi Yu. For my best odds. No, I don't do that. I stay in and I just go for it. I'm pretty sure there's specs on the Flutter main too. I Mortal Spin here because it always KOs and it'll send the Gastron hopefully into range of like Dark Pulse. Pretty sure, like, yeah, that was Specs damage on the Flutter main. Like, they shouldn't have done that much otherwise. Um, and depending on how they built this Gastron, I might be able to live. If it's, like, a really weak Gastro. I don't imagine you run offensive Gastro ever. Alright, good poison. And now I have to, like, protect and then Dark Pulse. Oh, I live. Okay, sweet. That's really good. Um, yeah, I think I win now. Alright, here, um, I actually just double attack. Because they usually don't run a spread move unless it's like Icy Wind, and that shouldn't KO either of these. So, here, uh, wait, is Venishok or Earth Power stronger here? Venishok, it becomes one, 130 times 
divided by two. Venishok's still stronger. Power me, I win. Okay, cool. It was a little bit of a frustrating first turn, but uh, we managed to, to stick it out. Let's do. Uh, let's do one more. Do one more. We're only at 36 minutes. Try to try to get a few more in. One more in, technically. All of my matches so far have not felt very clean. They've felt very rough. But I am recording this kind of late. You know, I'm not on top of my game, and I really hate close team sheets. So, uh, I think I just have to relax, to be honest. A lot of this is a mindset thing. Thanks to battling. I'm gonna trust my plays for the rest of this tournament. I'm just gonna trust my plays. When I want to make a call, I'll make it. Unfortunately, the, the first turn call did not work out that time, but we're, we're fine. All right. Uh, Bax balance, sort of. Actually, it's Bax HO, kind of. Um, I get a lot of value just doing this. Yeah, I just, I do the Dozo Glim. I, I, I lead off with stall and then bring in the dozo. See, the reason this works is because I'm corrosion. And what a lot of them will do is reflexively they'll want to go into um, Amoongus to avoid having to like get poisoned on a Pokemon. Or, or they'll tear a poison. And it's especially good in closed team sheets uh, because they'll basically burn a Terra defensively when it makes them weaker to Don Dozo. And they still get poisoned anyways. Okay, sweet. A great lead for me. Um, because... Because I can do this. I'm immediately going to go into Don Bozo. <laughs> uh, actually, maybe I don't. I'm going to protect here. I don't want to burn a Terra yet. I'm just gonna go for the raw mortal spin. I don't wanna I don't wanna burn the Terra because I should always get off two poisons. Um and if I if I do Terra, there's a chance. Oh, I'm only gonna get one poison. I was gonna say if I do Terra, there's a chance I end up just like um what's it called? Becoming weaker to the backs. Did you sleep my my dude? So here they might be so bold as to double polymer or not double polypa, but to uh go for another spore into my Glamora. Um So I'm actually just gonna go into Don Dozo, because they should never go for one into Wo Chien. I'm gonna try to wake up. Eh, let's not wake up. Let's just go into Don Dozo. The Amoongus has been poisoned. It's basically compromised. I can go for a sub. And I still haven't burned Terra. And I don't really intend to here. I don't think they would ever go for a Spore into the, uh, into the, uh, the Wo Chen slot. Anything they just pollen puff and like clay brush. The dragon dance, glad I'm unaware.
Whoop. There's almost nothing. So I'm gonna sub up here because I'm at plus two, and I'd rather not end up in a position where, like, the Gyarados comes in and intimidates me, and I'm at, like, neutral. Well, actually, I guess technically it's better just to protect here. I'm gonna protect first and then sub. Because even if Gyarados comes in, they can't, like, cycle me too well. Yeah, because if Gyarados came in, I would have gotten intimidated anyways. This goes for protect, that's fine. Here's where I'm gonna sub. And I'm just gonna start clicking Wave Crash, to be honest. Earthquake doesn't seem worth it here. Actually, maybe it is. Amoongus takes decent damage from it. Max Calibur doesn't do anything. Yeah, we'll sub here. Should be faster than the Gyarados. Unless they like some Scarf variant. We draw Amoongus, probably Bax or Flutter. Iron Hands. Okay, that's good. I can spam Earthquake, probably. And their entire team's physical, so Wo Chen goes crazy. And I know, with like, the reveal of the entire team, I know that Terra Poison Wo Chen becomes like a menace to them. Go for the Earthquake. Should get decent damage off on the, uh, on the Iron Hands barring a Terra. If Amoongus comes in here, still poison, still gonna take decent damage. Looks like they're gonna Terra. Probably Terra Grass. If they're Terra Fire, I'd be really surprised if they would go for it here. I don't think they would. Yeah, there's Terra Grass. A little bit of a rough situation. A little bit of a rough situation. I actually think I just start hitting the Amoongus, to be honest. Earthquake Prey does more than Wave Crash at this point. Wild Charge. Does that break it? It does break it, okay. Alright. Um, if I were them, I would go immediately into the Gyarados. I want to get damage off. I actually don't even care about keeping Dondozo around right now. Feels like more of a nuisance to keep it around. Let's Wave Crash Amoongus. I'm not even gonna... Yeah, I was gonna say, like, I want damage this turn. Switch go Amoongus. Am I gonna have to play the timer game? Is this gonna be a timer game? This might be a timer game. Oh my god. It'd be so annoying. Alright. Let me protect here. Wait, I can't protect. I'm taunted. Do I want to burn the Terra? I kind of want to burn the Terra. I'm not even going to lie. Let me think. If I burn the Terra here... Nah, it's just a reflect for damage. Yeah. Look, it's just a matter of getting in the, um, getting the Glamora in on a turn, where it can, like, click. It's really just about clicking my, um, my Mortal Spin once. So, like, the sooner this Dondozo goes down, the better it is for me. 
This is such an awkward- why did I- alright, look, I'm so annoyed because I was like, let's do one more before I go to bed, and this is the one before I go to bed. We're gonna be here for like an hour. Took off the taunt, cool. You know, the sleep actually makes it easier for me to pee-pee still. I don't know what they expect to accomplish by doing this, though. Like, they can't set up on me, they can't really do anything. I don't have order up. I dropped that for substitute. It's so messed up that, like, the best thing that could happen to me right now is for my Dozo to go down. Just to speed up the match. <laughs> I should keep wave crashing um, the Gyarados though. You crit me? Yep. I feel like I'm getting crit a lot today. So unfortunately we haven't burned a turn of Terra yet, or Terra, burned a turn of sleep yet on the Amoongus. I can't speak today, I'm so tired. We haven't burned a turn of sleep on our, um, the Mora. Which is the annoying thing. I'm gonna Earthquake here and hope that I crit the Amoongus. Watch him be stomped in Tantrum Iron Hands. All I want is for this Amoongus to burn a Citra Berry, uh, to burn its Citrus Berry. That's literally all I'm trying to get to do right now. If I can burn that Citrus Berry, I know that Glamora can deal with it. I'm pretty sure that's the item. Thank you. All right, eat the citrus. It's not citrus. Oh, it might be Ayapapa. Kind of worse. Maybe even Cloak? We're playing best of one, no team sheets. Pray Cloak. I just, I really want, <laughs> I really just want this thing to, to go down already. I'd imagine here they're gonna go for like a bolt switch, hope that it like knocks me out and then try to spore my Tatsugiri. If Tatsugiri can get out unspored, that'd be great. But I do have sleep talk for this situation. Cool, they're gonna spore the Tatsugiri. I'm gonna have to lock sleep talk, unfortunately. But that does allow me to try to burn a turn of sleep with my, um, with my silly goose guy. What's it called? Pomora. Let me try to burn a turn to sleep with Gomorrah. And I always just mortal spin here. And if I get a Draco into the Amoongus slot, I think I just win right there, to be honest. Alright. Lock Sleep Talk. Excalibur, okay. This could be a very big turn for me if it goes right. Draco, Draco, come on. Sleep talk Draco, sleep talk Draco. That's all I want. Ooh. <laughs> okay, that's big too, that's big too. That's actually really big. Granted, it's not the slot I wanted it on, but whatever. Okay. Go Amoongus. I think Amoongus is within Venoshock range if I get lucky. I have to Venoshock here. And I'm actually gonna switch up my Tatsugiri and just bank on the turn one wake.
Alright, wake up. The dragon dance. I can, like, win, but I, I literally have to wake up here. <sighs> Thank you, Gamora. Very cool. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna vent a shock and foul play. Iron hands. Shouldn't eat this. They target down Wo Chen with like Icicle Spear or something. Probably be the best outcome. Protect. Uh, I guess that's good too. I can Mortal Spin now if I don't wake up. Cool, I wake up. Let's get rid of this. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna Mortal Spin again. Actually, I should always just Venice Shock Foul Play. Because they're gonna get in their Amoongus. Yeah, I always just finish shock foul play. Um, and I'm relatively bulky. I think that I think that Glamore just barely lives. Like it's gonna be a strong hit, don't get me wrong, but yeah, if they go Amoongus, Glamore just barely lives. Actually, maybe I Venice Shock protect. No, I foul play. They can't protect their backscalber here without redirecting. Hopefully, um, hopefully Wo Chen can do his job and keep Glamora alive this turn. Really all I need here. Rage Powder? Alright, let's see. Stay alive. He Dragon Dance? That's so greedy. That's so greedy, dude. If this somehow KOs. It didn't KO. Oh, you're kidding me. Alright. That was still way too greedy, in my opinion. Um, yeah, because what that's going to cause here is now they have to target down. They have to target down my, um, my Wo Chen here. I think I doubled the backs. I could also sack here. I think I'm gonna sack my Tatsugiri. Make kind of a crazy call. I think here they're gonna protect and wanna waterfall my Glamora. Because they know that they can't take it out here. Uh, the middle ground play is go for foul play onto you, actually. And sack the Tatsu. That's like the super middle ground play. I know I said I was gonna trust my plays earlier. I I'm not. Alright, they have to foul- they have to literally, like, waterfall flinch me. Or this. Like, I win if this doesn't paralyze me, literally. Cool. It lived?! That's insane. Okay. That's crazy. Oh, I'm gonna get waterfall flinch so hard, I can feel it. Alright, I have to mortal spin here. I might live. If I do, that's game. I always foul play Mortal Spin. Alright, didn't live. I literally- I, I can't get flinched. It comes down literally to this turn, dude. Don't do this to me. Don't- oh, he crit me too. Oh, you're- I am so done with this tournament already, bro. I am literally so done with this tournament already. Am I really gonna play like 30 more games of it? Okay, I'm sorry if I'm a little salty about that. I'm sure you can understand why. Uh, that's gonna be it for today. 
I don't, I don't know if I'm going to play the rest of this tournament. I'm already, like, done with close team shoot. I just, I want to play, like, real, real games. <laughs> all right. Thank you all for watching. Sorry if I'm a little salty. It's just, like, a really annoying way to lose. All right. Have a nice night, guys. Bye.